Good morning. This is the Agribusiness Report. I'm David Geiger. The markets, including the sheep and goat auction in Colfax, were closed over the weekend for the Labor Day holiday. We will resume coverage for tomorrow. Most Iowa's corn crop is in the dough stage. Statewide, it's still behind on the dense stage, though. That hasn't stopped many field scouts predicting high corn yields across Iowa. Last week, agribusiness reporter Brandon Blue and I visited some fields south of Des Moines to get a better picture of the crop. Iowa State University field agronomist Mark Johnson, who scouts fields of 10 central Iowa counties, was with us. He says calcula calculating yields is a little more complex than just counting kernels. This was planted on May 10th which uh, in a normal year we'd like to be done by then with corn, but we had a lot of people out there right after pollination doing yield estimates and coming up with incredible numbers. I was hearing over 300. The thing is you got to keep in mind is the number of kernels is part of the picture, but the depth in that kernel is really important too. And how much we fill that it contributes a lot to the yield. And so, uh, you know, first we, early on, we had uh, a time when the number round was determined, and then we had a time when the number ovules long was determined, and then at pollination, we determined how many of those became kernels. And then for a brief time after that, we could abort some back. And then for all the rest of the time, it's how much can we pack into that kernel. And we want to pack in there as much as we can. Okay, and so uh, what a lot of people do is they follow the milk line down to see the progression. This is the great big germ. That's actually next year's corn plant, okay, as far as the plant's concerned. But this side is behind the, the germ, and so you can actually see the milk line there. Uh, that'll just keep coming down until it gets clear to the end, and that's physiological maturity. And then immediately after that, uh, there's an abscission layer where we actually, a layer of cells here dies and compresses and it becomes black. And so uh, where we've had a lot of cool days and we're behind on heat units, depending on where you are in the state, anywhere from about five days behind to 12 or 15 days behind. And so then the concern is, can this milk line get all the way down and can we hit physical maturity before frost? Johnson says insect and disease pressure has been very low this year in the counties he covers.